Hi, my name is Kelly England. I'm the co-owner of K-Town Poker League. Today we're going to demonstrate an example of a chip race. The first step is for the dealer to color up the chips that she can color up evenly. In this case, coloring up the green chips, which are worth 25, up to the black chips, which are worth 100. So this would be like the first break of the, po of the uh, poker tournament. As you can see, those four chips gets a black chip. Those four get a black chip. Now you'll notice there are chips left over. This is what uh, we will be using for the chip raise. For each chip uh, that's left over, you'll get one card face up. Also, very importantly, notice you will start to the left of the actual dealer's position, not where the dealer button is. And also notice stack two didn't get any cards face up because they don't have any green chips to race off. So now she'll color up the green, or she'll, yeah, she will take all the green chips and count them up. This is the only time that you will round up. As you see, we have 225, which will round up to 300. So she kills those. Also, another uh, thing to notice: the first, the first one would, the uh, first chip would go to the ace, kill that. The next would go to the king, kill that. Notice stack one has a pair, but pairs are irrelevant. Pairs don't count. You only use high card. In this case, there is a tie, so that's where the kicker would come in. So the first stack has a two with a two kicker, so the first stack would get the chip. Now also notice, stack three uh, cannot be eliminated from the tournament in a chip race. So in this situation, this is a tricky situation that very rarely happens, but if you lose the chip race and that is your last chip and it would essentially kill you out of the tournament, you will get one of the lowest denomination chips, which in this situation we would be going up to the black chips, so you will receive one free black chip. So that's how that chip race is done. We'll do one more example, coloring up the black chips, which are worth 100, up to the purple chips, which are worth 500. Just to make sure everyone has a good grasp of what's going on. It's the same situation. You count them out, uh, color up the chips as evenly that, as you can. So in this situation, since we're going from 100 to 500, Every five chips would receive a uh, purple chip, and then the rest would be raced off, as the dealer is doing now. So for every five, you get a purple. Five, purple. And those five gets a purple. So again, notice... Stack four this time does not have a uh, black chip, so they will not participate in the chip race. And just like before, each chip gets one card face up. Wow, we have uh, all stacks of one chip. That's kind of rare. But that will color up to one purple chip, which would go to the king. The king would win that chip race, and then you would continue on with the tournament. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, the eight of... Uh, Stack number three apparently is a very bad player. Once again, this would eliminate them from the tournament. So, just as before, they would get one free chip of the lowest denomination, which in this case would be the 500. Thank you for pointing that out. I missed it. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching.